Hi, as part of our Fear Free sessions, today we're going to discuss about positive reinforcement and positive punishment. What are they? How do we use them? If we should use them. Positive reinforcement. If a behavior is reinforced, the frequency of that behavior will increase in future. Positive reinforcement is a presentation of something pleasant to a pet in order to increase the frequency of the desired behavior. To be effective, the reinforcement must be considered rewarding by the pet. So reinforcement can be offering the pet a bit of a food treat, a verbal, like say, good dog, or you know, good cat, or, or a sort of a, a tactile praise, like you know, a petting or stroking uh, your pet, something that they like, okay, or a favorite toy. What is rewarding for one pet may not be rewarding to another, so we have to make sure that we actually know what does that pet likes. Positive reinforcement, uh, like a reward in a form of adding something pleasant like food, toys or praise to the interaction will increase the frequency of their behavior in the future because they know that when they do that, they will get that sort of outcome, that sort of response. Okay? It also has got an added benefit of changing underlying emotional associations with the trigger to something positive. Positive punishment. Okay. If a behavior is punished, the behavior will decrease in future. Positive punishment is a presentation of something aversive or bad to the pet in order to decrease the frequency of that behavior in future. The punishment may be in the form of a verbal reprimand, such as shouting no, or a physical reprimand, such as pulling on the lead, or sometimes smacking the dog. Okay, What each pet considers punishment may differ. However, the whole idea is that the behavior should decrease or stop. If it does not, then punishment is either being used improperly or inappropriately. The use of positive punishment is not recommended. I say again, the use of positive punishment is not recommended. The use of positive punishment is not recommended because it damages the human-animal bond and can increase fear, anxiety and stress and or aggression even. Additionally, if the behavior does not decrease or stop, then the punishment has been ineffective anyway. So punishment or corrections may inhibit outgoing warning signs of aggression like growling, snarling, but do not change the underlying motivation, nor do they reduce the animal's underlying emotion of fear, anxiety and stress. This can result in a dog that is more dangerous because no warning signs of aggression are given. Canine punishment based training collars such as choke chains and all prong collars like those collars that pinch are designed to be aversive and their use should be avoided for dogs whenever possible. Short collars should be avoided in all situations. I hope that's obvious to you. Positive punishment in the form of applying an aversive consequence bad or painful to a pet behavior can decrease the frequency of the behavior in the future, but it can also increase fear, anxiety, stress and potentially even aggression. So comparatively, positive reinforcement should be used preferentially and positive punishment should really, really be avoided, really. Comment below what are the positive reinforcements you have done for your pet and what sort of positive punishment you have seen before. Um, I hope to see you in the next live event. This is Amity.